the phylum arthropoda okay let us break the term poda means legs and arthro means jointed so jointed legs are called are the members sorry the members of arthropoda phylum are having jointed legs okay the legs are joint and they can bend so the first characteristic for the members of the phylum arthropods will be they are having jointed legs the first the second characteristic is they are having open circulatory system that is there are no blood vessels they are having open circulatory system just imagine okay i'm telling you say so here is a well when from the well i am taking a bucket of water and i'm pouring that bucket of water into another well okay just compare it with the body of an arthropod there is a gap from when the blood is taken and again there is a gap where the blood is poured so there is no blood vessels the blood is transported in an open way and if it was blood vessel then it would have been closed okay so they are having open circulatory system that is they are having no blood vessel sometime if the cockroaches are moving on the ground you push it or you just uh, uh, place your feet on it and it dies and the fluid comes out from its body is not red in color why so because the blood of arthropods have no rbcs no rbc blood has no rbc okay so the blood of arthropods have no rbc that's why it's not red in color okay one point i forgot to mention that arthropods are the largest phylum of animal kingdom they are having the maximum number of members under is the phylum arthropods okay they are bilaterally symmetrical and they are triploblastic as well so till now we have understood the three characteristics the fourth characteristic the body is covered by a hard exoskeleton which is made of chitin just remember in plant kingdom also we have discussed chitin is a complex polysaccharide or complex sugar or carbohydrate so hard endoskeleton that covers the body of the arthropod and that is chitinous in nature that is it is made of chitin that is complex body they are having coelom they are truly coelomates annelids were also truly coelom from annelids now onwards we are going to get all truly coelomates so coelom is there and the blood is filled inside the coelom and the entire coelom is filled up with blood another important characteristic of this group is they are having compound eyes and the compound eyes means one eye on this side and one eye on this side okay this i will see all the portions of this area this i will see all the portions of this area so they are having mosaic vision means three dimensional vision okay at a time they can see two images on both the sides of their head so they are having compound eyes okay so these are the characteristics of the phylum arthropod jointed legs open circulatory system bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic mosaic vision that is compound eyes coelom is filled up with blood and there is a hard exoskeleton made up of chitin present outside their body if you want to know something more then for which i am telling the phylum arthropod being the largest phylum is divided into four classes class as you know after phylum after phylum you have the classes so they are having four classes arachnids means dangerous the dangerous arthropods comes under it that is spider scorpion then you have crustacea crustacea means if you place the feet on them you will have a crunching sound okay and the example is prawn then you have insecta 
all insects come under this say grasshopper butterfly everything and the last is myriapods yeah myriapoda that is the ants so these are the four classes under phylum arthropods arachnids crustacea insecta and myriapoda and the respective examples so from here you can say that these are the examples of the phylum arthropods internal if you go then there are two major thing that you have to remember for arthropods number one major thing is gizzard and crop and number two is Malphigian tubules. Gizzard and crop are two organs related to that of the elementary canal. Okay, the gizzard stores the food and crops helps in the digestion. Okay, these are two things that are very much characteristic of the animals under phylum arthropods. And Malphigian tubules are involved in excretion. As in case of the Artworm, you have seen nephridia, here malphigian tubules. There are various type of mouth parts of the arthropods. They are sucking type as in case of the mosquito, sucking type. Then you have siphoning type as in case of the butterfly. This is mosquito, this is butterfly and you have biting and chewing type as in case of cockroach as in case of cockroach cockroach this is butterfly siphoning type and sucking type is the mosquito these are the mouth parts mouth parts means the way they feed mouth okay so concluding the characteristics of arthropods open circulatory system jointed legs presence of segments in the body bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic silomates presence of blood inside the silome then you have the compound eyes and the mosaic vision internally gizzard and crop in elementary canal malphigian tubules for excretion as well as ejection means giving out the waste materials then you have the mouth parts which are not as much important and the classes i have told examples are ample given to you cockroach butterfly prawn scorpion whatever you see insects around you comes under arthropods so after arthropods the next phylum that we are going to discuss right now is phylum mollusca the mollusca means soft bodied animals soft soft bodied animals the best example under phylum mollusca is snail encountered every moment in our day-to-day -day life the first characteristic is it is second largest phylum after arthropoda so after phylum arthropoda it is a second largest phylum with a good number of members among it okay the next point is they are also bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic the next point is the silomic cavity is reduced there is silo they are also silomates but it is reduced as compared to that of arthropods they are a bit reduced the next characteristics under the phylum mollusca is they have kidney like organs for excretion they have kidney like organ for excretion mind it we have discussed this thing in plant kingdom also whenever it is something like like root like stem like they are not exactly root or they are not exactly stem but they are like them similarly kidney like organs for excretion means the organs are like kidney but they are not exactly functional kidney next point is they are having open circulatory system mind it again we have already discussed 
what do what do we mean by open circulatory system in case of arthropods that is still now they have no blood vessels there are gaps and the coelom that means is filled with blood the coelom is thus filled with blood the sixth characteristics under the phylum mollusca is the body is divided into anterior head body is divided into anterior head okay the body is divided into anterior head ventral the body is divided into anterior head ventral muscular foot and dorsal visceral organs what do you mean by anterior head whenever in biological science you are getting the term anterior it means front like anterior posterior posterior is back anterior is front so the head is in front of the body then you have ventral muscular foot i have already discussed dorsal and ventral dorsal means front ventral means again back so ventral muscular foot means the foot is present at the back of the body and definitely the foot is helping for movement and the dorsal visceral organs or sometimes it is called visceral mass means the organs are present in front okay see if this is the body's axis the organs are present here the foot is present here at the back and the head is at the top front okay anterior head dorsal organs and ventral muscular foot and definitely this foot helps in movement this foot helps in movement okay the last characteristic under the phylum mollusca is the body is covered by a shell hard shell now you may ask what is the importance of shell the importance of shell is nothing but to protect this soft body the body is soft and therefore the shell is performing the work of protection that is covering the soft body and protecting it from external agents external environment or external human factors so these are the points under the phylum mollusca let us discuss once again first they are having reduced coelomic cavity second they are the largest phylum after the arthropods they are also bilaterally symmetrical as well as triploblastic the fourth point is they are having open circulatory system fifth point is the blood is filled in the coelom sixth point is the body is divided into three parts anterior head ventral muscular feet and dorsal visceral mass or dorsal visceral organ the body is covered by a hard shell made of calcium so these are the properties under the phylum mollusca example is snail scientific name is pila pila and another example is octopus for this chapter of diversity you have to definitely remember the examples of the phylum that is two example for each here you can remember snail that is pila and octopus